Hey guys, it's me Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am going to be testing out this beauty. This is the Revolution Colour Spectrum eyeshadow palette and this has like 96 shades in it I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of shades in here. And I thought I'd test it out for you guys and also do a brown smoky eye because I really want to do a brown smoky eye. <laughs> I did ask you guys if you wanted the Morphe palette or this palette and you guys picked this one which I'm actually quite surprised to be honest. I'm really surprised because I thought you'd pick the James Charles palette but um, you picked this one. I have been using it a couple of times so I guess you're a bit fed up of it but um, yeah. This just has a lot of blue, green, purple and yellow colours in it. It's not like all the like rainbow colour. It has like those specific colours in it and um, I just really want to do brown smoky eye okay. So um, before I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to start off with um, some foundation. I'm going to go in with my Revolution Pro foundation drops. <laughs> That's what they're called. And I'm only going to use a little bit of foundation. I don't really want to use that much, to be honest. Oh. And I'm just going to use my number seven makeup sponge. As you can see there, I've got a bit of redness. Because um, I've been... Just putting a lot of spot cream there to get the blackheads away, but um, it's not really working. If you know anything good for blackheads, then hit me up. <laughs> hit me up, well. I actually quite like this foundation. I think this foundation is quite um, underrated. Because I know loads of people love the foundation stick by Revolution, but I absolutely hate it. Oh, I still have it, like, but... Um, it feels horrible on my skin and I have oily skin as well and it's like really really like sticky and moisturizing but like sticky at the same time and it's just not nice so yeah I think this one's very underrated this like has like a, a dewy glass look kind of finish if you know what I mean and when you set it it lasts quite a bit I wouldn't say it lasts as long as like my rev I would say it lasts as long as my Revlon one, but um, I don't know, I quite like this. I put up with it. it. It looks so nice as well on my skin, it's so natural. I realise a lot, I'm, I'm always getting my um, mirror in the shot, and then you can't see what I'm doing to my face. This camera's dodgy, honestly. I'm not gonna do concealer and powder yet, I'm gonna prime my eyes first and do my eyeshadow and then I'll do the rest of my base if you know what I mean. I'm going in with my collection concealer. <sighs> just dropped a bit on me leggings. Just put that there. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that on my lid. Ooh. I'm just using this small flat brush. I actually love this for um, carving out my brow and doing cut creases. This was from a travel kit um, from Makeup Revolution. Um, I think, I don't think you can get it now because this was like a limited edition thing from Christmas so I apologise about that but I'm sure they have like similar ones anyway. It's blending out the concealer on my lid so I don't get any creases. That is the brow all carved out and eyelid primed. And this tiny fluffy brush, this tiny one. I look like so serious about that. Tiny fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go in with this brown. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. This one here. I'm gonna go in with this brown shade here. It's like it's a very warm brown shade. I'm tapping it on my hand and there's literally nothing coming off. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a darker brown. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this dark brown here. Because I did say I wanted to do a dark brown smoky eye. Okay, now I'm gonna pack that on all over my lid. I've really been liking this technique where I use a tacky base and doing the darker shades first and then lighter. If you start out with makeup, I wouldn't suggest this technique. I'd start off with a transition and then going darker. I have done that before, so if you look for my videos, I'm sure you'll find something. 
packing all over my lid and I'm not going to do a crepe crease, it's literally just going to be all brown. And I'm kind of going to wing it out if you know what I mean. I watched all of the um, Doctor Who series. Has anyone else watched all of them? Well, when I say all of them, it's not exactly all of them. It's all the ones available on Netflix. From the one where Tyler Rose is in it. And I've watched all of them now. So I literally know almost everything about the Doctor. <laughs> I'm pretty proud. I'm now going to take this shade here. Wait, which one is it? I'm going to take this shade here. And I'm going to use that as my transition. A lot of these shades aren't all like matte. A lot of them are either shimmer or like a satiny kind of shimmer. You know what I mean? Okay, and then I'm taking that on the edge. And I'm blending. Mm -hmm. This isn't blending very well for me. Maybe Revolution isn't the one for this technique. Maybe if I started transitions and then darker it would have worked better but it's still working pretty well so. I am going to go in with this white up here and I'm going to just take the same brush for the, that I did with the transition, a bit cleaner now because I wiped it off and I'm going to take that white and I'm just going to go over right over the edges to blend it. I've actually quite liked using a white to blend out the edges of the shades. I think it works quite well. Okay, I'm just going to wipe off the edges here and or if there's any fallout I'll wipe that off too and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the eyeshadow is sorted I'm going to go in with my collection concealer again and put that under my eyes and on any redness I got. Just to add a bit more coverage. I don't really need it on my forehead to be honest. It's just scars there now. <laughs> Blending that out. Blending out the, the like concealer on my face first and then I'll do it under my eyes after so it like lets it dry a little bit to give it more coverage and then under my eyes okay and to set that I'm going to use this Topshop invisible powder this is so cool guys like if I haven't seen my haul with this it's like an invisible powder it's legit invisible it has shimmer in it but um it's not really that noticeable and it probably gives you a bit of a glow. I've swatched it here but you can't really see it, it's just invisible. I know you can get like translucent powder but it's not actually translucent is it? It's like got a bit of a pink kind of colour to it I guess. But like this is so cool, I love to use this. It feels so silky as well on the skin, oh my god. I'm just going to use like this contour brush I got in a kit from Makeup Revolution and I just like to use this to pack on the powder. I'm just going to pack that on. And it legit feels like you're not pinning on anything, but you are setting your face at the same time. I'm just gonna get a powder brush and set the rest of my face. I use this brush for um, both bronze and powder because why not? <laughs> and I'm just gonna pat the powder on. Not I don't swipe. I pat it on. Pat on the powder so the product underneath doesn't move. And as you can see, my face is all matte now. I haven't used this bronzer in quite a while, it's so a CYO one. This is in Fair. And I'm just going to use my powder brush, <laughs> powder slash bronzer brush. And I know this, um, uh, blah, blah, was it? Bronzer is quite pigmented, so I'm going to be light handed. Actually, it smells really nice. Oh, it reminds me of summer. I'm just going to bronze up my dead face. <laughs> Also that powder is really good if you want to get away with wearing makeup in school because it's literally invisible <laughs> but it also sets it at the same time. This, I quite like this bronzer, 
don't know why I stopped using it. It is very pigmented, so I'm just doing the sides of my face, my forehead even. I do like to put bronzer and like blush on the tip of my nose. I think it's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna get a load of that, put it down my neck. Because I am pale and I need it. Now I'm gonna go into blusher. I'm gonna go in with this blush and highlight palette from Makeup Revolution. This is also from a Christmas set from the 12 Days of Christmas box, so I don't think you can get this anymore. It's really sad. I think um, Makeup Revolution should make all the products um, available to buy after individually, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna go in a mix of the peach and pink colour and tap that excess off because this is very pigmented. That was, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> Oof. Put that on my tip of my nose. My chin. My forehead. Contour and bronzer, I'm going to use the Imagination palette from Makeup Revolution. And if you don't know what it is, it's a collab imagin, Imagination. She's a YouTuber, she collabed with Makeup Revolution. I don't follow her on um, um, YouTube or anything. But, um, I quite like the look of the contour and highlight palette, so yeah. I'm going to go in with this big fan brush and I'm going to go into literally here and it's quite pigmented, so be careful with that. I'm just going to contour the cheekbones, do my forehead. First I need to do my lower lash line. Yes, I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna go in this tiny, flattish, fluffy brush, and I'm gonna go in with that brown I used for on my lid, and put that in my lower lash line. Blend out over the edges. I'm gonna go in with limited edition and angel face. That one and that one. I think my family's home now, so if you hear banging and all that, it's probably them. There you go. I really like this highlight palette. I'm gonna do my cupid's bow as well. I'm gonna highlight my nose as well. I'm also gonna use that highlight to highlight the inner corner. Ooh, <laughs> the inner corner of my eyes and my brow bone. <laughs> I explained this so badly. Ooh, that's nice. I think I'm going to put more of the gold because this is a warm toned look. And now I'm going to just set my face before I put on mascara and lashes. This is the Illuminating Fixing Spray by Makeup Revolution. I'm just going to spray that. It has got a perfumey smell to it, so if you don't like smells, then. I like it. I'm gonna go with the revolution, the mascara revolution, and I'm gonna just try this out first. And if I want to put on lashes, I'll add lashes. This is quite a clumpy mascara, so if you don't like that, then you won't like it. But I quite like it, so I really wanted to try these lashes from GWA. I mean, I've tried their lashes before, but I wanted to wear those. Okay, I'm putting on lashes. I can't resist. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly apply them off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are applied and I'm glad I put them on because I just love lashes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in with this lipstick by Makeup Revolution in the colour Swish. I got this from the advent calendar they had last year. I'm gonna go in with this lip gloss, it's like a really shiny one. This was from uh, the 12 Days of Christmas from Makeup Revolution. I'm just gonna put that on top, and I think that is the look done. Okay, my hair is a bit of a mess, but um, that is the look done. I do really enjoy this palette. 
yeah, so I'll definitely be using it more in the future. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Swing on. And also subscribe, because who would want to be subscribed to this? I haven't said that in a while, have I? Also, if you're subscribed or you are going to subscribe, press the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.